Hi guys, Shane here, Oz Flight Simmer. Welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator update video. This is where we bring you all the news and the updates of the development of this new flight sim. So if you're lazy like me and you don't want to troll the internet for all the latest updates, this video is for you. In today's video, we are talking all things Alpha. That's right, the Alpha build 1.2.5.0 was just made available for all the tech Alpha users. And for the first time, the patch notes have been made available to the general public. So in this video, we're going to pick our jaw off the ground and we're going to cover everything that the patch notes mention and dissect what it means for the Alpha users and the development of the sim. The first part that was mentioned as part of the update blog was a note from the development team. They thanked everyone for the amazing feedback since the last alpha release and they have made several fixes based on the alpha testers feedback. The main part I found interesting was when they spoke about airliners. They are receiving a lot of questions regarding airliners and their response was they are working hard to finish all the touches of the airliners and they want to make sure that the core functionality is right before they release it into the sim. In one of our last videos, we mentioned that the 2020 team placed a save today on their roadmap. Maybe this was all about airliners, so you can check that video in the card right here. So moving to the actual patch notes, the first area covered was the additional content. Most of this wasn't a surprise as we have covered it before. The Cessna 152 is cleared for takeoff and now in the sim. They have added training missions. This is great for new users as these missions will take you through the basics of altitude, instruments, takeoff, level flights and landings. The Sedona landing challenge has now been added and also live events are added which are time limited activities that they plan to switch out with different types of events. The group functionality has been added to a multiplayer. You can now add your friends and find them on the world map and you can click on them to join them. We covered this multiplayer content in last week's video and now some of these features have made it into the alpha build including friends that are now represented by icons on the world map. You can click on them to join where they are in the world. The in-game traffic nameplates now apply to the users. So now we can see who are the virtual pilots. Anyone using your plane will show up in the same aircraft as yours. And if they are using a different aircraft than yours, they will appear as a generic aircraft. The planes have been updated too. The glass cockpits have had a multiple bug fixes. The grass, trees, clouds are no longer visible in the actual cockpit itself. So you should be able to see them through the glass of the cockpit, but you just won't be able to see them through the walls of the cockpit. Icing fixes and improvements across all the aircraft. The DA-40 and the DA-62 was missing the altitude knob on the pilot side of the G-1000. That now has been added. And last but not least in all things aircraft wise, the DA-62 and the TBM-930 have had flight model improvements. Airports in the Alpha update have also had a bit of a facelift and some of those things are included is all the buildings have had a bit of an update. Some of the buildings have been removed from the runways which is a great move by a Sobo. The last thing you want to do is land on the house when it's on the runway. Some of the vegetations on and around the runways have been removed also. Improvements to some of the existing airports which were uh, parking spot placements, jetway placements, ground markings, airport life improvements, air traffic behavior improvements. A bunch of the airports went MIA in the last build including KSAN, KBOSS and KBHX and a few more. And all of those have been brought back to life and have made it back to the current alpha build. Air traffic control has had a general update and improvements. We haven't heard much about ATC, but at least it's in the sim and it's been developed on. And hey, you can't get any worse than any of the current native ATC that's in the current sims today. Cameras have had an update too with some improvements to existing camera options and some new additions such as chase camera, drone camera and smart camera. The Microsoft team also talked about the flight model and it looks like it's had a large touch up as also. The team have worked on some of the issues that are caused by the ground instability. FSX ground effects was calculated once per aircraft on the center of gravity. The 2020 team have changed the code to calculate the ground effects separately for each surface of the aircraft. This reflects reality better as one wing may be closer to the ground than the other. They have worked on the roll stability including dihedral 
and swip wings and improvements have been made to the takeoff trim. Sounds like someone at Asobe has been studying for their back exam. Controls, controls and more controls. All have additional default inputs and presets have been added. As you can see the list on the screen, most of the big names have been included which makes me a very happy man. And last but not least, when it comes to this alpha build, a bunch of various bug fixes and improvements to the sim. Some of those which are worth mentionable are overall improvements made to the stability and the performance of the sim, visual improvements to the grass and vegetation, offline texture improvements, wind is impacted on grass and now trees, updated auto generation of buildings in the world to make them look more realistic, night lighting improvements, improvement to the street lighting and added wind turbines. This will help with the VFR flyers. There was a bunch more improvements and updates that I didn't include in this video. The ones that I mentioned were the biggest ones in my opinion. You can easily see that the 2020 team had been very busy with this update and it wasn't just a run of the mill little one. This was a huge build and it seems to me like they are fair way along in the development of this sim. I would love to see in the comments what updates we mentioned in this video are you most interested to see. I will leave a link in the description of the Alpha Build blog of the post if you would like to check it out yourself. If you like this video please smash that blue thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator development news and insight please click that subscribe button. I'm going to leave one of my other favourite Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 videos here, why don't you check that one out and I will see you over there.